Okay, guys. So, finally, <clears throat> after owning Andy Styliner for over 10 years, um, I finally got them to cut very decent. Still not the best. You know, I, I feel that the Andy's T outliner still cuts better than these. But, you know, I've always wanted these to cut good. You know, they have 14 watts. That's more than any other magnetic trimmer that I know of. And, uh, yeah, I've had these for a very long time. They've always been mediocre at best. Very often, they just did not cut well. Well, finally... <clears throat> I got them cutting the best they ever have since I've been using them. And we can thank this little tool right here. So this tool, this Allen wrench, I forgot the size. I'll pretty probably uh, put it in the comments, you know, what the exact size of that is. Um fits right in that little hole. Now, let's look at the other side of that hole. So, there's the hole, you turn that around, and you're looking at a flathead screw. So, that um, that is the tension screw. You gotta play with that in order to get it to cut good. But the problem was, before I really knew about this hole, every single time, I adjusted it I would have to take the blade off you know it takes three minutes to you know you're going back and forth anyways I finally got it uh, tuned up pretty well but it's still not that great it doesn't get all the hairs with one two sometimes three swipes and I think that might be because the teeth are so small so probably the next thing on my list is going to be the Promate blade. Okay, so I got the Promate blade. It's got the deep teeth. We're going to give that a shot. Last time I put it on, it did not cut very well. 